Okay, guys, let us make our own ticket to change the life, change the life. And we have one minute to go. You can share, you can start sharing. You can start sharing, you can start sharing. Yeah. You can start sharing now. You can start sharing. Make sure you share on all of the other platforms. Make sure you share on all the other platforms. Like for here, I'm currently observing on the, uh, the studio in observing how things going like for those that are coming online. Yeah. And for today, let me start making some things clear. If you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, what's going to happen is that you are not going to be permitted to send any uh, text. You are not going to send any text at all. But once you have subscribed to the YouTube channel and everything is moving smoothly, trust me, you are going to be free and clean to send your text in. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you find out that you just subscribed, it will have to take like one minute. You have to take like one minute for it to go through. You will have to take one minute for it to go through. So guys, uh, you can start sharing this live now before we get into our lesson for tonight. Uh, it is already 8.30. It is already 8.30. You can start sharing the live. You can start sharing the live now. It is already 8.30. It is already 8.30. You can start sharing now. You can start sharing now before we can get into our lesson. Our lesson is already planned. Our lesson is already planned and... We will be going through a whole lot of beginner things then. Anyway, if someone invited you to join the live and this is your first time, I will ask that you go and subscribe. After your subscription, you wait for like one minute. Right after the one minute, you will be allowed to send text. You will be allowed to do some other things then as well. So we have our lesson quickly. I will open up our lesson slide while we are waiting other people to join because we don't want to start the lesson and some people stay drinking behind. They will be looking somehow. We don't want to start the lesson and some people drinking behind. So this is our beginning. Uh, this is our first slide for tonight. This is our first slide. We will just look at the entire this slide to be our cover slide saying uh, the beginner and computer. We will be discussing the beginner mindset to computer. The beginner mindset to computer. But guys, I keep in mind that we have to share this life. We have to share the 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 life, making sure that people join. Making sure that people join. This is computer education for free. The only thing you have to do, once you have Mika by my brother, Without wasting your time to go on Facebook Messenger doing one or two things. I know it will profit you, but I believe that this will profit you much more if you know than what you have done on Facebook or on Messenger or other social platform actually. Because with here we will be discussing some other issues. We will be discussing some other key issues that 
will have like more impact on people if you are in Liberia in Washington I would say that or LEC just left okay this is our agenda this is our agenda we have before we start going through the slide before we can start going through the slide quickly let me make sure on some things LEC just left if you are out of Liberia or uh, the current that the country rely on it just left the current that the country rely on it just left the current that we are streaming live on the current just left the current that we are streaming live on it just left it just left so guys we are still going to do our live because we have current in the uh, system here so our life will still continue because we have current in the system here but quickly as we waiting other people let me do a very quick share to some other people around so that they themselves can be able to join the live let me do a quick share a very quick one A very quick one. Let me do a very quick share. Do a quick share, a quick share, a quick share, a quick share. share I'm doing this uh, on Facebook so those of you that are on Facebook it is my recent post it is my recent post on Facebook 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 Guys, I'll keep up. I'll keep up. I'll keep up. LEC left, and any moment LEC will be here, and we will continue all of our slides that we have here for tonight. You see, more people don't know why we are having this live, or more people having here understand why we are having this live. We are having this live because. There are some issues that we want to face actually particularly with our user out there our client out there our friends out there our relative family members and all other people out there there are some things we want to make clear with them when it comes to computer you see it is difficult for for us these days to really really understand what or how it is like for people around the world more especially for a country like Liberia that I'm in uh, LEC was here the entire, for the entire day and it just like Because LEC just left, guys, we, we we are not going to sit side and then just watch our life go like that. No, we have to do our thing. We have to do our thing. Okay, I just turn off my camera so that at least we can have a clear scene of the entire page that we want in here. Start joining the live now because I will soon start discussing every necessary thing 
that you people should understand or learn for today. Let me make this clear. I'm not the best when it comes to computer. I'm not the best when it comes to technology. But I think with my idea and yours, we can work on things. We can make things happen to be friends. So you and I are working together, putting our own ideas together. I believe technology can actually go far to us. So let us keep that in mind. Let us keep that in mind. Let us keep that in mind. You see, uh, we we will soon start. We will soon start, guys. LEC left. That's why I off my camera. So if you are like for some of my colleagues that are in to buy that are watching uh when uh most of most of them, most of them haven't come online yet yes yeah, so if you come online and you find out that you are not seeing me but hearing me i will tell you that you will still get me because you will still see my face because because we are in the absence of electricity right now guys keep sharing keep sharing the life keep sharing the life we will soon proceed with what we have here for tonight keep sharing keep sharing Keep sharing the live. We will soon kick everything up. We will soon kick everything up. Keep keep sharing. Join the live. Keep sharing. Okay, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. LEC left, and where I am currently, uh, we're trying to get our own power. Like, uh, okay, good. Getting our own power so that we can be able to at least go in there. So that we can go in depth. So, guys, please. So that we can go in depth of what we have. Like I said, this is just the uh, beginning. This is just our first uh, slide. We haven't picked anything out yet. We haven't done anything out of the way yet so you haven't gone or step in or step out so as we keep sharing this life share it to your group chat on messenger on facebook on whatsapp share it all over so that people can join this identical life so that people can join the live. Okay, well, more people. Okay, what I think here. Okay, yeah, this is someone telling me that they are here. Okay, my sister, just be patient. We, I'm seeing your comment. Just be patient. We will soon start. We are uh, waiting some other people to join the uh, live. We cannot just kick up just like that and leave the other people behind. You know, make up a person in the country is difficult. So, in order to get some of these things running in the first place, you have to get good uh, internet. You have to stay calm with what you do.
you have to stay calm on what to do. So guys, they don't share it. They don't share the life. They don't share. Keep sharing. As you keep sharing their life, we are going to get into it. We are going to get into it. Okay, I think we said 8 30. So, for those that will be coming, we starting already. And like I said, this is our first life. And you know, it is difficult when it comes to having life on YouTube, more especially when it comes to connecting your computer and some other thing. It is actually difficult. It is not really an uh, easy task for someone to just accomplish like that. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to start by entering into our agenda, read our entire agenda, and know what we have for tonight. You see, uh, it is much more preferable if we have all of these things being dealt with for us. Okay. If you can check in the description check in the uh, in the live description if you check down in the bottom which is the description you are going to find what we call the uh the entire topic listed there all of the topics that we are going to be treating for tonight you are going to find them listed there you are going to find them listed there if you check within the description just check in the description you are going to see everything within the description if you check within the description if you check in the description you are going to find everything there so for our section we are going to be looking at these things technology in general the type of device that we are going to be we are going to be looking at some type of devices we are going to be looking at mobile computer the advantages and disadvantages we are going to be looking at the laptop or desktop computer also and we are also going to be looking at why technology you know more people I ask why the uh, identical channel choose to that do technology. So we also going to be looking at why we are going the technological way. Why we are going to do this. So so guys we will be looking at these things that are here why technology the flow of technology within those devices and we are going to be looking at something that will be a bit strange that we are seeing to the number eight here which is about us actually we are going to be looking at it the reason we are going to be looking at it because you guys need to know why and why what are we doing here you guys need to know about it yes so for now for us that are watching we are going to kick it up firstly in a general terms or uh, when it comes to technology 
I'm going to be talking much more faster and if you like leaving behind or not getting what I'm saying after the live you can still go and replay the video uh, this will not be a enhanced course for people that already having a technology background and having high on the level of understanding when it comes to uh, putting uh, technology together like the, this person is actually being specialized and they are running their own or uh, IT fees or they have their own IT stuff going on they will not be the right post for you tonight because if you want to take the course you can take it because probably there are some things in it that will be new that you haven't come across yes and there are some things in it that will be old to you that some things in there that you have heard before already so taking the first thing here i want us to actually be a very good friend of looking at what we have to look at a very good friend of that because if we can just look at technology in general if you're looking at technology in general I get this slide is very wide up that you people can see the entire writing we have down there. Yes. You people can see the entire thing that we have down there. You people can see it. And in as much as you can see it, you can read it alone, but I'm not going to read it like you would expect because we have more things to cover tonight. I'm not going to read it like you would expect so so we so we will just keep uh giving time to it because time have been fast pain we are still like delaying for some of our colleagues to come online we are still delaying for some of our colleagues to come online we are still delaying we are still delaying for some of them to come online So now, uh, in general, technology is actually the body of knowledge that have to do with first leg, I will take tools, I will take creativity, I will take process, I will take some other key things that you might not want to take. Let me take my pen here quickly. Okay. So looking at technology in general looking at technology in general here looking at technology in general we we will be taking we will be looking at it and at least getting the insight of technology in general guys sorry while we are delaying i'm responding to some other people that are joining the live too i'm responding to them i'm responding to them also i'm responding to parts of people that are joining the live too i'm responding to them Okay, guys, this is it. Technology in the broad uh, knowledge now. I'm sorry, like I said, you won't see me because I'm going depth, I'm going straightly into our discussion for tonight. Technology in the broad sense is actually a very huge feat, and it has to do with some essential tools, processing actions, 
in other extra material that is actually being worldwide you know technology have more have more to do with when it comes to our uh, knowledge here technology have more to do with knowledge technology ha have more to do with creativity technology have more to do with the mind it have more to do with the mind if you want to be a good uh, person in a IT field, if you want to be a good person playing with technology, if you want to be a good person playing with uh, the field and studies of technology, you have to give uh, your mind. You have to give your mind. You have to give your time. Because let me say this: technology is jealous, like any other field you might know. In term, technology is not just on the uh, both saying that we all think that it is. No, technology is not like that. More people think that technology is just uh, doing a uh, tap and print work around. Or people feel like if you can take your computer, you tap a Microsoft Word document and then you print it out, or uh, where that person is an IT specialist. And if you can hold your computer and then do one or two things around your computer, that means that person is a specialist. No. I will tell you that if you do that, you are fooling yourself because for what I have for you tonight, you cannot just confuse the person is an IT specialist because oh, the person solved one or two problems on your mobile phone or the person solved one or two uh, issues around the community. The person did little troubleshooting around them. You then refer to the person as IT specialist. Actually, you will be putting them in sync and you will not be doing good for them, actually. You will not be doing any good for them. Technology is a very wide field that has several different areas of specialization. That has several different areas of specialization. So if you are putting yourself into the field, you need to understand that what field are you going to specialize in? Okay, more people think that if you are a uh, let's like say for instance a boy growing up in a community and he attending a technology school and he found out that there's a first semester a second semester a third a fourth a fifth semester and people in your community start to like test him you know they will start to bring some things that are not even connected to what he's studying in school it becomes more difficult for him to actually uh give his mind to those things and solve the problem but people be like, if you don't solve it, which means you're not doing well in school, no. You are getting that identical person wrong. Technology is not like that. If someone has been specialized in a field, let's say for instance, their child growing up in his or her school as a full stack developer or a web developer, you, you don't expect that person to come down and start to solve administrative issue that a uh, network administrator should do you don't expect them to come down into it but in our setting here like for my country Liberia, i don't know for some other people country and some other uh african country that i know of too they will expect you once you, once you say you are in uh, it school they expect you to know all they expect you to know all and that is not what it is about that is not just it. You have to get the mindset that the person has the speed that they are specialized in. So you have to give the person a, a tax based upon what they have studied. So do not give the person the wrong tax and then and then be accusing the person of not learning anything in the school. You cannot be a theater then I come and give you a masonry work. You cannot be a a architect but then i come and be giving you work that have to do with music band and some other things no 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 i will be actually misinterpreting your profession so that's just one of the mindset that i wanted to get this clean with we that have the wrong mindset of our children of our people our relatives our cousins that are doing it around the world you know it is it is of no use if you are
thinking like that and you are getting them tax to accomplish like that it is of no use trust me it is of no use if you are behaving like that today if you are behaving like that today trust me it is of no use okay quickly we are going to be looking at some other things based upon the scenario i gave just now that have to do with uh, the touch an example of the techn of technologies those various areas that you will find technology the various areas that probably you have seen technology and you don't know the various areas that you have experienced technology and don't know that you are experiencing so now technology is in various types it's in various types and they are in various key allies so don't expect yourself to sit and say you are not benefiting from technology no technology is in your everyday life technology is in your everyday life it is actually in your everyday life this is one of our smallest and easier presentation on this channel this is one of the easier and smaller presentation on this channel we are going to be looking at the viewer types and we are going to be looking at them along with example right after there we are going to be getting into our practical for today we are going to be getting into our practical for today and taking some other advices as well if you are listening to this identical live here trust me it's going to save you it's going to save you from a lot of mistakes that you have been having on your mobile devices it's going to save you from a lot of mistakes that you've been having on your computer on your personal computer it's going to save you a lot of mistakes that you've been having or uh, those mistakes you've been having on uh, your electronic device as well so guys we are going to be looking at some of these things here the first thing we're going to be looking at technology in the communication sector technology in the communication sector i have one example that i just gave and the example have to do with a wireless bluetooth okay so technology in the communication sector there's actually a system that is used in a technology means to transmit information or data from one place to another or from one person to another person. Okay, now like we all know, communication is actually the dissemination of information. Actually, share the sharing of information. So now, from one device to another, technology can communicate. Let's say for instance, like our example here, we have uh, the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth we have here, trust me, it is actually an electronic device. An electronic device that use that doesn't work in the absence of electricity. It works in the presence of electricity. I believe for all my beginners, you people will understand that. I'm dropping this to the lowest because I don't want to get much more questions on on what we are not to ask so concerning this we're going to be addressing first day the communication sector the bluetooth we have there is actually a wireless bluetooth as you can see here is the bluetooth that we are discussing here is the bluetooth that we are discussing this bluetooth here is actually a bluetooth that you connect to your mobile phone your laptop or any other device that you have that can connect or Bluetooth through them. And one key thing I love about Bluetooth is that it love a point-to-point -point connection. A point-to-point -point connection in the sense that it's going to take one device and work with that device. It take that device and work with that device. And right after it take that device, while it working with that device, if your Bluetooth is going to take another device. My brother, you gotta ask your Bluetooth question because Bluetooth only taking one one connection. It taking one connection and it's going to send information. It's going to send data. It's going to transmit information between the two data between the two devices because that thing, for instance, you have your Bluetooth is your headset. You put it on your head and then you start to use your bluetooth widely by playing music 
and then you will find out that once the video is connected to your device your device is not going to play the identical song on the speaker you're going to play the song to the bluetooth so that is another way that technology exists to communication technology exists another way we're going to be looking at how technology exists is to construction to construction technology exists as you can see down here we have in here the technology existing to construction technology existing to construction this actually a wire and bank broad era wherein you will have to get a clear knowledge to what and how you are doing things with this because for one fact you will be using instruments that are taking high current instruments that are taking high current instruments that are taking very high current let's take for instance we have a very good tool scale down here the entire two sparks here the entire two sparks here we have two they are actually of two kinds uh people that have in the construction fee they use these tools here sometimes to drill wall. They use these tools sometimes to get things through the wall, or sometimes to get a uh, concrete uh, flow being drilled. They do that. They use it. Uh, technology has been able to help the construction people with this and been able tools to help make their work easier. One way because by you using your own hammer to actually lay the ground it will be hard and it will be difficult for you it will take a lot of time but we're just using these tools just by using these tools i can tell you that you will have better access and knowledge on those things here just by using these tools these are some of the way that technology exists i can tell you for free these are some of the way technology exists Let's see next what we have to look at another type of way that we find that technology as well. Okay, okay, now another interesting way that technology exists. Like what we have here. Technology exists to excessive technology. There is excessive technology. This technology helps in with people that are disabled. People that are disabled. People that are disabled. Those people that are disabled, technology come out being in a very smart way and in a creative manner to come up with an all-grow wheelchair. All-grow wheelchair, one, this wheelchair, as you can see here, this wheelchair here is highly electronic. If you see up here where they live, that is, the wheelchair have an analog here, an analog that the person sitting in the wheelchair used to carry the wheelchair around to take direction with the wheelchair the wheelchair is actually given to people that are disabled let's say for instance if a person cannot walk the wheelchair can be used for the person to run their activity smoothly just by they cannot walk but they will be able to go around they will be able to go up and down and then see one or two things and know what they are doing and know what they are doing so that's just it for how technology provide for those of this ability how technology provide for them there are a lot of examples but I'm just taking this testing these few ones so that we can get to our actual things for tonight. I'm just taking these few things just so that we can get to our actual things for tonight. Okay, one thing I bless God for on this live is that the person that mainly requested for this information that I'm providing, they are active and they keep watching. Okay, so I guess that they are not out of what we are doing or they are not far off from what we are doing instead of 
instead of you doing some other things around we are into this now the medical sector we have the medical technology there are a lot of instruments out there that technology provides in the medical sector one we will look at this uh, identical medical instrument here that is being used in clinic hospital even to drugstore local drugstore around people use it there one uh people use this identical thing here one to actually get the uh, blood of uh, a patient and this can be done through a one-to-one -one mean or one-to-one -one mean without any huge stress or without any other testing of any blood draining around these the tools that i'm actually talking about there's the tools here as you can see in the slide there's the tools it is the tools next year we have information we have information on technology okay this is the key part of what we have this is the key part here of what we have information technology uh this is what more people call for short it information technology i have have there with some other uh, types of technology but this is the main one that we are going to be focusing on to our on the channel we are going to be focusing on information technology which is it that's what we're going to be focusing on so next year we have uh, like you can see for information technology we have this technology is set of hardware and software tools used to store transfer and process information Information technology tools help in providing the right people with the right information at the right time. Knowledge worker in an organization using information technology to complete various tasks. And this can include the transfer of information which facilitate. Let me get this straight. I'm reading this out because I want for you people to understand that this is the fee. This is the fee that we are going to be playing with. This is the fee we are going to be playing with. We are not going to be dealing with the other fee that I show to you. But I was just showing them to you so that you know that there are some types of technology too. With the exception of information technology, there are other types of technology. With the exception of information technology, people will be in the music industry. They are learning how to master song, how to do DJ work and all those things. And they are in another field of technology, another type of technology. They are in the entertainment world of technology. But we are going to be looking at the information technology. We are going to be looking at this. This is the key thing we are going to be looking at. The picture you see right here is actually, is actually a Netgear router. This Netgear router here, for some of us who don't know, about router we are going to discuss router in our later or uh, information in our later live discussion router being a point of disseminating information information is not just uh being cloned to information that we get overlay or information that we get from around but information also being splitting down to information that have to do with data of an organization data of a business sector also have to do with tools raw material that those or company are managing they are all information that we are speaking of they are information that we are speaking of so, getting so getting one of the more important and more essential 
part of this identical line don't forget we are looking at information technology no other technology for information technology down here we have entertainment technology entertainment technology that as we can see one example we have here we have the new mark make track three the new mark make track three that have to do with uh, the struggle a lot of people call it the struggle game yes. as you can see the struggle well i'm not on entertainment technology personnel because i know nothing of trouble i know nothing of trouble but i'm only making i'm only including this within our presentation so as you can know that there are other types of technology they have entertainment technology if you see someone calling themselves that they are within the technology field and you see the person having trouble on their arm do not just say oh the person uh the person is actually um uh, the person is actually like having a trouble so he or she don't know about technology no the person know about technology because the person is into the entertainment side entertainment type of technology they are not into the information side of technology but the information side of technology is very very huge and that is the side that we are going to be that this channel is all about the youtube channel is all about the information side the youtube channel is all about the information side so now next we are going to be looking at this the business and the educational sector of technology in the business sector we have printers yes we have printers and those printers that we have they are printers that we use we do our work on it or we come we either use the printer at, at private or we use it for commercial one way like we are seeing a 3d printer in our example here a 3d printer here in our example the printer here will be used to print 3d uh, material 3d equipment and whenever this is being printed through a printing center the owner of the work have to pay something for that identical uh, reason let's say for instance they have the hp 2130 uh, printer they have the epson printer they have the uh, Jill's printer they have the inject printer and all of those printer then they, they can be used for commercial people buy them carry them to the business center and, and they don't open or print the press and then people go there they print and then they get out that is another type that is another form of technology that is another form so if you want to give it an, an agony probably i will tell you that you can look at it to be like uh the bt because for the information technology is actually the IT. This is the BT. And looking at the next, we have the educational technology. Educational technology we is the ET. The ET is actually the uh, type of technology that deal with that deal with the educational sector. One, it motivates and encourages student individual learning the course individual learning individual learning individual learning is highly capacitated on this a course easy access to educational material it helps students to learn new subjects and languages through lot of platform to one one way children can learn to lot of platform by using the internet by using the internet if you use the internet trust me you are going to get a lot of information you are going to get a lot lots of information that you can actually work with let's say for instance we have a mac up here for ipad or mac up for ipad this is a mic up for ipad that we use that we use we use this mac up whenever we are explaining notes to students and we want to show them some other key area we can be able to mark it out with that so now that mark up going to make the the understanding of the student uh clear to what you are talking about it's going to make it clear to what you are talking about yes so next we have students going to use the internet to do assignments, students want to use the internet 
to do lots of things students going to use their mobile phones to you to use the internet by using google search engine to get a lot of knowledge on things that is the educational side of technology if you are into that field you are into another field of technology too another type of technology too so now another good thing i want to look at here is uh i got the question on one of my uh video that i uploaded the pricing was from uh from malawi they were asking actually of uh, what's the difference between technology and science yes the person was asking what's the difference between technology and science I answer that question for them but I realize that there are still other people who don't know yet the difference between those things there are other people who don't know and by actually making it clear or explicit tonight I'm very happy so now the difference between technology and science is very broad Firstly, the both of them, they are a bit intertwined. They are a bit intertwined. They have less similarity. They have less similarity. But that doesn't mean that they are not different. They are different. One way they are different is that one, science is all about nature. Science is all about nature. Science is all about nature. And technology is all about the human mind. I can tell you. Technology is all about the human mind. Technology doesn't care about what nature is going to present. No. Technology, te te sometimes technology people act like they care, but at times they don't care. What's going to happen is that a man going to wake up and then say he want to build a uh, setting a uh, robot and then he using technology in the ai sector in using artificial intelligence after putting everything together and then he can use that robot against nature when he start to use that robot against nature as we all know technology is being used like currently we have a uh, robot female we have females robot we have females robot that men go and lie with and then the feel certified, the feel much more certified, the feel pleased, the feel comfortable when they do that. Yeah. So technology at times prove like they have little concern about nature, and at times they prove that they don't even think they don't care about what nature would think. So one way you can differentiate between what technology has and science doesn't have is that technology is all about creativities and making what the mind or what human think to come out and being a straight reality for science is all about proving what it is already been proved but other people don't believe now let me make this clear in our slide here you see science technology and science are not the same they say technology is not a plan. Science is actually or a plan stuff. Technology is not a plan like the way science is being a plan. Both technology and science are closely related, but they are different in some ways. One way technology develop and explain the human mind. Technology develop and explain the human mind. Why science explain nature world, the natural world. That's why science explain. Technology develop and explain the human mind. For science now explain. For science don't develop. Science don't develop the nature no. Nature is already existing, and then science explain. The entire nature, that's what science does. So now, 
in science explaining nature and technology developing the human mind and then explaining and then explaining it developing technology is concerned with developing the human mind and what is being developed the human mind processing it managing it and why science is just about gathering accurate information and the accurate information science want to make sure that the accurate information be taken into consideration by the world or being taken into consideration by certain people for that identical thing to be proven but if technology here if technology actually think the human mind and then start to develop it and explain it let's say for instance technology start to think the human mind when it comes to microscope the doctor want to see what is actually within the human blood the doctor want to see beyond what his eyes can see the doctor want to see beyond what his eyes can see that's the mind of the doctor that's the mind of the doctor yeah so now technology is concerned about making that mindset of the doctor being executed so if the doctor cannot see it trust me he cannot be able he will not be able to actually do what he want to do he will not be able so technology come out by developing and explaining to the doctor coming up with an identical idea and then develop the idea into a tools and then explaining the tools to the doctor so that the doctor can be able to use it to do what he want to do so once the doctor is using it and doing what he or she want to do technology is being accomplished right there and trust me technology is going to provide the development the process the management and all other aspects of that identical tools or equipment or device that technology have given to the world they're going to do that but for science trust me science is just going to discover science is going to discover discover in nature what happened this why this happened this that's just science right there so guys i think that is for that when it comes to differentiating between science and technology as you can see here i have a volcano here this a volcanic eruption here and it is a natural cause this is what science is concerned about and as we all can see on this i have a microscope or doctor looking through the microscope this is a man-made stuff the microscope is a man-made it's not natural it's not something that we keep on the face of the earth and see no it was invented it was developed it was explained and we are using it we're taking our next slide we're going to be talking about the type of devices now in the type of devices that we have here there are tremendous amounts of devices out there for guys we are going to be looking at two the two we are going to be looking at this is the place in this identical life if you are not paying attention probably you are taking the life to be like um what the guys is even saying here he's just showing one picture over and over and just talking 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 i will ask that you pay key attention because we are going to be looking at a mobile phone and looking at laptops and desktop we are going to be looking at them so one one we have the mobile phone here for the mobile phone firstly we have the mobile phone on the mobile phone we have series of things to be looking at on the mobile phone we have series of things to be looking at now one now two now three now four now five now six now seven now eight we have a lot of things to be looking at for the mobile phone on the mobile phone we will be looking at some other things 
that will help us as well. Some other things that will help us as well. Like I said, for those of you that are just joining the live, you have to subscribe before you can comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you will not be able to comment. You will not be able to comment. Trust me, you will not be able to comment. You have to subscribe before you can comment. We continue with our lesson. We continue with our lesson. Mobile computer. Here we have mobile computer. A mobile computer, which is also known as a portable data controller. You see there. Mobile computer, which is known as a portable data controller or a portable data terminal. Hey, now this is very interesting. Let me calm down a bit and make you guys understand. Here, when we say a portable data controller, meanwhile, that this device here is able to control the flow of data. It is portable because it can be carried along. It can be carried along. You can carry it whatsoever place you are going. You can put it in your pocket. You can put it in your bag. You can put it on your head. You carry. It. You can put it on your head and carry. It. Based upon the weight you want to carry, it. you can do that. And also, these portable devices, we are going to be looking at them and looking at some other key things that one must look at. Some key things that you must look at when you are a user of this device when you are a user of the device you gotta look at it we will be looking at advantages disadvantages we will be telling you trust me i'm not going to put up more slide the reason i'm not going to put up more slide here is that i want you to listen i want you to listen these things they are beginner lesson they are beginner lesson they are beginner lesson. They are all beginner lesson. They are all beginner lesson. They are beginner lesson. Trust me. I'm not going to be putting out more slides with these things. So I'm just going to explain to you what and how it's going to be like. And give you some other advices that you need to know about. Like I said, those of you that are watching the live, check in the description. You will see the topics there. Right now, we are at um, mobile devices, and the mobile, the on the mobile device that we are currently looking at, we are looking at the portable one. Then, one, the portable mobile devices that can be carried along with you. In our slide here, the reading says that the portable data. They are portable data controller. So now, when they say portable data controller, that brings you to a mindset that you have to understand that your portable uh, device or your device or this your terminal, you need to understand that it need to be well secure. It need to be well secure. We are going to be looking at how this portable device then work. We have different different devices here, and how they work. We are going to be looking at it. Mainly, we are going to be looking at the telephone, how the telephone works. I'm going to be striking on three different phases of how our telephone works. Three different phases of how the telephone works. One, we're going to be looking at the man within the telephone. We are going to be looking at the person within the telephone. We are going to be looking the person at the person within the telephone. And we are going to be looking at what the person within the telephone rely on for surviving now let me bring this down so that you can understand it what i'm saying is that we have this what the person in the telephone is surviving on to provide what the user want so now you are the user you are at another end the person is at another end 
and what the person rely on to provide information to you to provide information per your request what the person rely on to so we are going to be looking at it those three ways so one we are going to be looking at the hard component of the telephone we say we are going to be looking at telephone which is the cell phone the hand tap we are going to be looking at it there are different type of telephone out there but firstly if you look in the description of this identical lesson we have how or what the phone is made of okay now the phone is actually made of a hardware which is the hard component that we can see one the phone have battery the phone have ram the phone have storage the phone have of uh, the phone have chips the phone have string the phone have a uh, string to display the phone have battery the phone have charger the phone have buttons the phone have flex the phone have plaques the phone have plastic the phone have some rubbers in it so now with all of those things that are within the phone they are what that the program within the phone rely on that the program within the phone rely on so now the one that still and rely on the hardware component to provide information to you the user it is actually the operating system there are several operating system out there for mobile phone there are several operating system out there for mobile phone we have window we have Andrew, we have Linux, we have uh, I, we have Max, we have the Sibian, we have we have the Solaris, we have the Jibs, we have the each the each or the each OS, and they are in different different model and they are of different different needs as well. So now for our mobile devices for our mobile devices we have the operating system that we just talked about the operating system we just need the real operating system and we have several mobile phone producing company several mobile phone producing company and this company and this company include like uh samsung samsung is a mobile producing company to the produce phone they produce a uh, camera they produce a lot of different things yes samsung they produce a lot of different things too and we have techno techno is another phone that have taken over africa we have artel they are another phone we have uh, we have uh, iphone we have iphone they are of the max generation too the max family that use the iOS operating system, the iOS operating system, and we have uh, we have like for clean, we have clean phone, we have clean phone, we have Huawei, we have a lot of different phone out there that you are using. There are some phone that you are using currently that I have not come across. Trust me, that I I have not come across. There are a lot of different phones out there. There are a lot of different companies out there that are producing mobile devices. So now we come now to the mode to the model. One thing I want you people to get: when you buy a phone, take the advice. When you buy a phone, what you should do is that one, get that phone, enter into the system of that phone, get into the phone system, and try to inquire what RAM. That phone run on. It is the RAM that are going to help you. That will help you to know whether your phone is fast or your phone going to be slow. You need to know the RAM. You need to know what um. You need to know how many storage, how many gig cabat that phone can at least serve you. You need to know how portable that phone is. You need to look around the phone. To know how guaranteed the phone is another way like the phone string you need to look at that also and another thing about data putting into your phone you need to be careful about information that you store within your phone because it is portable 
it can be carried by you so it can be carried by someone else looking at this small foam up here this foam here it can be put into your pocket and it can be put into someone else's pocket it can be done so every information that you put within it you need to have the mindset that those information are vibrant and those information need your care those information needs your care they need your care they need your care trust me you have to also observe the security system of that phone you have to update your mobile phone i'm saying these things and they're running over them you have to update your mobile phone because we have some protocol to look at tonight we have some protocol to look at tonight so i won't keep you guys on this of uh, the three things like labyrinthine like said on these easy things one thing i want to say for us that have mobile phone let me bring up this quickly so that you people can be able to see what i'm talking about here let me bring this out quickly yeah we have something like this R M E I. We have this. We have this, the guys. We have this, the R M E I number. The R M E I number. We have this, guys. I want you people. Let me see. I bet I can make this much more, much more for us to see it. Let me get this quickly. Okay, stay calm. Let me open Microsoft Word here so that you can see something quickly. Okay, now. Okay, there is it. Let me stretch it out for you to see clearly. This is what I'm talking about. The IMEI number of your mobile phone. That is very important. Be careful and understand who you give your mobile phone to. The IMEI number of a mobile phone is almost like what your phone is running on it's almost like what your phone is running on if you are careless with the IMEI number on this identical phone guys if you are careless with it if someone take the IMEI number of your phone the person has the ability to destroy that identical mobile device in your hand regardless of you being the owner you can be the owner or you can be you can be anyone of that matter once the person has the IMEI number of your device the person can destroy the identical device once you cannot i've come across this identical problem several times i 
had an issue with a friend of mine who he posted his phone IMEI number on Facebook. When he posted his identical number on Facebook, what happened? Someone copied the number and then the person when the person destroyed the phone to the IMEI number. So the person was like in person maybe not he that had the phone he was not the real owner. So the person was taking themselves as the real owner of the phone. So if you have your mobile device, be careful with the IMEI number. The IMEI number is very important. The IMEI number is very important. Before I forget, let me give you the quick understanding on this identical IMEI number. This is one of the things that I want you guys to take your mind. IMEI number is actually the International Mobile Equipment Identifier Number. This is the International Mobile Equipment Identifier Number. If this, this is the number that your mobile can be identified with in the entire world. So if someone tamper with this identical number, your mobile won't be identified. Your mobile will be probably not being identified with you. Someone, someone else will be taking your mobile phone while the body of the phone is just in your hand. I know a scenario where someone use a person IMEI number and then they upload a huge set of information to the internet using the person name, using the person uh, picture, using the entire person information from their phone. When someone using your IMEI number, trust me, they are also using the IP address and using your location too. They are using them too to do whatsoever thing they want to do on that identical device. This is one of the things that comes with the mobile phone that we don't know about with the user. But I'm telling you, be careful with it. Be careful with your IMEI number. If you want to know how to access the IMEI number, you check in my video, you check in the YouTube channel. There are videos there concerning IMEI number, explaining more on IMEI number. I'm just saying this because this is a beginner, beginner course to technology. We just are uh, touching some key points on some things that actually we should know when it comes to our technology at home, when it comes to our understanding technology in the entertainment industry, of uh, understanding technology in the medical sector, understanding technology in the information sector too. So I'm begging everyone that are watching this live, if you love your mobile device and you love yourself, be careful with your IMEI number. Be careful with your IMEI number. I'm begging you because I don't want your time spent on the live to be wasted. You watch the live and you are warned about the IMEI number and later on someone use your IMEI number to do something else. Next guys, let us look at something here quickly. Something very, very special. Something very special. Now, more people will not understand when it comes to this. More people will not just understand when it comes to this. More people will not understand. When I'm talking about updates, when I'm talking about updates, more people will not get, will not understand. Updating your device is very essential. Whenever you are updating your device, it, it gives you the user chance of protecting yourself. It gives you the user chance of protecting yourself. Each time you update the device, you the user, you get better understanding of good security system. You get better ground to stay. Each time you update your device, whenever you update it, and there is a problem with your IMEI number, it, or if there's a problem with your system or someone has created a backdoor within your phone they are there enjoying themselves your update is going to enlighten your mind on it but once 
you are not following any later update on your mobile phone all you do is that you just sit and then look at some other things that you don't want to look at on the phone probably you just use the phone you play game you use the phone you watch movies and do some other things if someone try to get into the phone once that update the company or the android you are running on the identical phone it is out of date trust me my brother for someone to get into your phone it's very easy it's very easy the person will get into your phone and before you look you will lose information and you start saying a lot of things that you are not to see next we are going to look at some other things from this next we are going to look at something that more people i don't know very We are going to be looking at this we are going to be looking at advantages advantages in the sense that that our mobile phone has we all know the advantage that mobile phone has mobile phone have a lot of advantages that we all know i believe as i'm speaking right now someone like reciting some other advantages that mobile phone have already so you have to understand what and how these things can be done all of the advantages that mobile phone have they don't just have it because they want to have it they have it and have it for a reason one way you can know that your mobile phone is much more powerful to you is when you are like out of current when you are out of current totally that's the time you know the importance of your mobile phone when there is no current in your mobile phone that's the time you know the important you will not understand what i'm saying because you you use your mobile phone when it is power on but when it is off you cannot use it that's the time you want to use it but you cannot use it you want to do some other things on it but you cannot do it because Because what you want to do, you cannot do it. So you begin to feel somehow bad because your phone is not actually serving you the way you want. But that's just a normal problem or power problem. That's just a power problem. If you charge your phone, you come back, the phone going to work fine. But the mobile phone. It's been helpful to us because we can sit from any angle and talk to anybody from any angle. We can sit from any angle and see anybody at any angle. We can sit from any angle and send information to anybody to another angle. We can sit at any angle and then release certain information to the entire public at certain time and certain crunch. Because what you need to understand is that if you have certain information you want to release to the world, you don't have money, but you have mobile phone. My brother, I can tell you, you can still do it because for one fight, you will have your clear mindset of posting it either on the social media that more people will take it and share it. More people will get together and then share it. Each time people, one person share it to another person and then before you know it won't work, it won't work. That's just how it is. But there are a lot of advantages. I'm not going to look at it too much. I'm going to look at the disadvantage more than the advantages. I'm going to look at the disadvantage more than the advantages. Now, for the disadvantage side, we'll be looking at those that those that are using the uh the touch screen phone. I will advise that you should not get touch screen foam to uh, the little ones like children from the age yeah from birth up to age five they should not play with with those tabs that are of touch 
they should not play with it because one thing it do is that it kills the cell in the fingers. It do that gradually. It don't just do it one time. It kills the cells within the finger. It kills it. If you even look at the uh, the laptop that we use, the plates on the laptop, each time you're using the plate, and then you'll find out that there will be some electronic feelings within your fingers. You will start to feel the electricity in your finger. And before you look, my brother, you, your finger going to stop growing. Your finger won't grow. It will stop your finger from growing. It will stop your finger from growing. And one key way to help yourself out of it is by getting an extended mask. Extend, getting an extended mask so that your finger won't rely on the plate again to be executing those tasks on the string. Electricity uh, is very dangerous as we all know. Keeping your mindset to it will also help you when it comes to managing and tracking and making these things to happen. One way, one way you can understand what and how you are going to do with technology or without technology is that the world around you is growing the world around you is growing everything people doing nowadays is technology everything people doing is technology quickly let's look at the second thing here which is our desktop computer the desktop computer here guys we are going to wrap on it quickly so that we get into our Python. We have this here being our speaker. This here being another speaker. This here being the monitor. This here being the keyboard. And this here being the cabinet. Um, I don't know. For other computer teachers, they will, re they will refer to this as the CPU. For the CPU, actually stand for the central process thing unit. The CPU is formed within this cabinet. The CPU is formed within this tower. That you see here it is formed within this cabinet but more people will refer to it as just a merely cpu they will just say cpu because probably they want you to believe that that just that's a cpu they want you to believe that that's a cpu they want you to believe that that's a cpu but it is not actually a cpu it is It is a tower. It is a cabinet that has a lot of different, 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 different things within it. That's why we refer to it as cabinet also. It has RAM in it. It has the motherboard in it. And on the motherboard, there are several things that are mounted on it. The motherboard has several slots. The motherboard has several points that wire are connected on. So you cannot just refer it to it as the CPU. So now, looking at this in the desktop environment, in the desktop environment, this work. Let me just say this as a clear way to understand what we have.
Okay, sorry, sorry, we had a little problem just now with our system. We were not getting. Okay, we were not getting what we were to have. Okay, so for the uh, computer here, we have the Windows environment for the desktop computer. You see that we have here at the Windows environment. The window is actually at OS. I turn an operating system to that computer run onto. They have Android computer. They have MacBook. They have Linux. They have Solaris. They have Linux. They are all machines that runs on different ways. They have different interfaces. And therefore, instant one good difference I can tell you now is that for the MacBook, what is known as control on a uh, window is known as the command on MacBook, and what is known as the CMD, the command line in window on MacBook is known as the terminal. And MacBook is is of a high end, high uh, education than window. Window is much more easier to use than Mac. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you are using the window environment, we are going to have one uh, cool tour for tonight. And after our cool tour, for our next section, it will be very tough. We are going to be hitting zero key pieces of technology. We are not going to be playing around. Now, here is this. Guys, why technology? This is a question that I want us to answer. Why technology? Why technology? Because we are using technology in our everyday life. We are using technology in our everyday life. Because we are using technology in our everyday life, that's why we need to get better understanding when it comes to technology. We need to get better understanding when it comes to how technology runs. We need to get better understanding when it comes to how the entire ITP it is like. Because these days, we have mobile phones. Our brothers, our sisters, they have mobile phones. Our aunts and other people have mobile phone and we do a lot of things on the mobile too. So if we can just sit and say we don't want to know much, much about those things, then we will be lying to ourselves. It will be good that we know about them and then know how and why and how these things are working. Okay, guys, we have completed talking just easy things that uh, that everyone around the world know, easy things that people know already. But I decided to strike on these things because of some other comments that I received, and I told you why that I need to check on them. Yeah. So, guys, let us do our best now to turn on our computer if you have a computer with you turn power on your computer and just get to the desktop and then wait for me at the desktop 
wait for me at the desktop we are using window wait for me at the desktop wait for me at the desktop of that identical computer wait for me at the desktop wait for me at the desktop of that identical computer wait for me at the desktop of that identical computer wait for me at the desktop of that computer wait for me there i'm trying to get some things to order here i'm trying to get some things to order quickly guys wait for me at the desktop wait for me at the desktop quickly That I guess on things running. Just wait for me at the desktop of that computer. Wait for me at the desktop of that identical computer. Wait for me at the desktop of your computer. Okay now we are seeing a very brand new uh, stuff here this is just the desktop of a computer a window 10 computer this is the desktop of a window 10 computer on this window 10 computer tonight we are going to be looking at some key things We are going to be looking at some key things. Two key things we are going to be looking at is one, we are going to be looking at striking out the software, knowing what we know the computer run on. We are going to be looking at some other things. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to fetch here. We go to our control panel. Good. If you don't know how to access the control panel, I have video on that. Then check the YouTube channel. There are videos there for how to access the control panel. Okay. And then we go to system. now here is the 16 of this identical computer here is the system of this computer as you can see we are seeing 64 bit this is just what i want you guys to look at here this is just what i want you guys to look at here the version the os build the, the operating system build the install date this is just what i want to look at if you have a computer you need to be looking at these things you need to be looking at them up here we have up here we have device name we have the processor that the machine run on we have the processor here we have the ram that are installed within the computer for here we have the device id we have the product ID for here we have the system date we have the pen and touch all of the information that are here when you have a computer you need to be inspecting them you gotta be inspecting them you gotta be inspecting them you gotta be inspecting them
you have to inspect all of these things in now stay time i will see this all on this youtube channel guys we have a lot of things that we will be talking about on this youtube channel we have lots of lot of things to be looking at on the youtube channel but with the youtube channel you can get software you can get software you can get uh any other thing you want to do probably you want to get your own youtube channel too you can drop all the comment and make us understand all that you want to get your own youtube channel and you want us to help you out in the process you want us to help you set up your youtube channel help you and set up the monetization help you set up some other things on your youtube channel uh, we can help also with that we will be having some other guests, we are having other stuff, and I will be presenting on the YouTube channel also. Yes. When you so, guys, I appreciate everyone for joining the live. I appreciate everyone for joining this first live. It is not actually much more interesting for those that are already in the ITP. But I can tell you that there are other great topics coming out. We have 13 Saturdays coming up, and within the 13 Saturdays, we'll be covering the entire Microsoft Office. We'll be covering the entire Microsoft Office. So, guys, I would like for you people to keep uh, watching this identical channel, making sure that you get the latest out of technology from this channel. Making sure that you get a later technology on this channel. It is 10 11 now. We decided to wrap up at 10 o'clock, but we have some delay, we have some other things then. So we came up about 14 or more time. So Those of you that have joined the live, guys, thank you. Thank you for at least giving us attention. Thank you for 